All right, you getting out there throwing today? Uh, how did it feel to get back on the mound? Well, so today, I was out there throwing today. How did it feel to get back on the mound? Well, so today, I was out there throwing today. How did it feel to get back on the mound? Well, so today, I was out there throwing today. What are the kinds of things coming off last season that you're trying to work on here in spring training? まあとにかくあの健康が第一なので、まあその健康というのを維持するっていうところが一番です。First and foremost, health. You know, you just want to stay healthy throughout the season, and that is the biggest focus. I know yesterday you spoke a little bit about this spring training compared to to last year's spring training. What are you hoping to get out of this year's spring training, and and really how that impacts your start of the year? まあやっぱり落ち着いて、まあ自分のペースでやっぱりできるというところが一番だと思うので、まあそれが自分の健康にもつながることを祈ってます。Yeah, so basically you can, it's more you can do stuff on your own pace, you know, versus last year. So I think that ultimately. Is going to lead to you know being being you know being able to go through a healthy season. We know you you have a, a really impressive array of pitches. Is there anything in particular that you you focused on this off season that maybe you want to use a little bit more this year? Ah, so Kyushu ではそんなにあれですねあのそんなにこれをやったってはないですけどまあスプリットはまあ変わらずずっと以前からまあ練習はしてますけど感じはいいと思います。No, nothing in particular, but you know. If I were to say something, I think the splitter has been good this off season, and it's been good. So you see, I'm seeing some consistency consistency in my splitter. Have you gotten a chance to watch Waldron's knuckleball a whole lot? Ah, まあ season中は見てましたけど、まあキャッチボールとかブルペンであの見る機会がないので、いつか見ることができたら。No, um, not not him, you know, throwing a bullpen or you know throwing out on the field or anything, but. Obviously, last year when he went when he was throwing in the games, I was able to see that. So, hopefully, I'll get a chance to see that more, you know, this spring training and on. And I want to ask you, totally different topic about Peter Seidler. There was a moving image of of yourself and your wife there the day that he passed. Why was it important for you to honor him in that way and spend time, you know, think about him with him in that manner? 自分が今もこうやってまあこの球団でプレーしてて家族もサンディエゴでねあの住んで子供たちもいっぱい友達いるっていうのもやっぱりピーターさんが最後僕の契約でオッケーを言わなければなかったことなのでそういう意味でもやっぱりすごくリスペクトしています。You know, Peter was the one that ultimately brought me to San Diego. You know, the reason why I'm pitching here, the reason why our family is living in San Diego. And having a great life over there is because ultimately it was Peter that said yes to my contract. So, with that said, there's a lot of respect towards Peter and his family.